please press the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified from Jospedia. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Jospedia. In my previous video, I have shown you about a wonderful plant, Peperomia pellucida or Mashi Tandu in Malayalam. So today I am going to make a dish out of it with chicken. So let me cut the plant and then you can also try it. Please do not throw this uh, plant thinking that it is a weed. So let me cut the plant and then we will make a wonderful dish with chicken and mashi tandu. Okay, so let me uh, take the plant and the whole plant can be used as I told you. So I will just cut these uh, uh, plant and then I will show you how to make it with chicken. So now I have uh, enough of uh, this uh, Peperomia pellucida or uh, shining bush or silver bush plant uh, enough for, my, for five of us. I have around three handfuls of it and uh, let's go to the kitchen and I'll show you how to make this wonderful dish. So uh, let's start with the recipe of how to make uh, mashi tandu or uh, Peperomia pellucida with uh, chicken. I have some, uh, let's see the ingredients first. So I have some uh, onion, uh, around uh, one full big onion chopped, some garlic, chopped garlic, around uh, one whole garlic, two tablespoons of pepper which is crushed and this is the Peperomia pellucida or mashi tandu which I had collected from uh, my garden and I have washed, chopped and kept. Here is half a kilo of uh, chicken which I have boiled and shredded. Uh, boiling should be done just enough for it to be shredded easily. And there is uh, Thai sauce, Szechuan chutney, soy sauce, green chilli, red chilli sauce and uh, ginger garlic paste. So let me light the stove. Okay, one now the oil is heated and I'll put some garlic which I had chopped and kept until the garlic is golden brown in color I fry it then I add the chopped onion to it The onions also should turn slightly light brown in color. Hmm, I can already smell the garlic. It's awesome. We'll wait for the onions to be slightly brown. Okay, now I add a tablespoon of uh, ginger garlic paste to it. Once the raw smell of the ginger garlic paste is gone, I add the Sauces. Okay, so the ginger garlic paste raw smell is gone. Now I'm adding some Thai sauce, sweet and sour Thai sauce. About two tablespoons of it. Yeah. And now I'm adding the Szechuan chutney. It depends upon how much of spice you want. This also I'm adding. 2 tablespoons of Szechuan chutney half a tablespoon of soy sauce this is just for the color and the flavor of soy sauce two tablespoons of green chili sauce and 
two tablespoons of red chili sauce. Also, the crushed pepper, two tablespoons that I had crushed and put. Now mix all these ingredients. Add salt to taste. I'm adding just half a table, half a teaspoon of salt because all these sauces have got uh, salt in it. I add the shredded chicken. This can be even made with uh, boneless mm, meat or uh, you know, boneless fish that tastes awesome. Okay, so mix all the ingredients together. Now chicken is mixed with the ingredients. I'm adding the herb to it. The peperomia pellucida or the mushy tandu herb to it. Give a nice mix once you add the herb to the chicken mix. Nicely mix the whole ingredient. this stew the water that I had after boiling the chicken so that also we can add it to give some gravy to it yeah, that much is enough give a nice mix close it and let it simmer for five minutes it has simmered for 5 minutes. Let's see. Okay, yeah, it's boiling nicely. Let's put it off. And I can smell wonderful peperomia pellucida with chicken and all the sauces that I had shown you in the ingredient. It's wonderfully done. Let's transfer it. A wonderful dish with peperomia pellucida or mashi tandu with chicken is ready. This dish goes very well with either jeera rice or veg fried rice or veg pulao uh, even uh, non-veg uh, fried rices, mixed fried rice. If you like the recipe please try at home and do not forget to like, share and subscribe. If any comments please leave it on the comment box. Thank you for watching. Thank you.